In a recent video, I talked about the high cost of lumber and all the challenges I had this past summer trying to get some lumber for some of the big projects that I was working on. And so because of that, I started looking for some alternatives and that search led me to an Amish lumber mill that was about an hour north of my house. And it was such an interesting place that I wanted to take you all on for the ride and show you what it looked like. Now the first thing that I noticed when I arrived at the mill was the large stacks of logs and lumber. At this sawn mill they mainly cut hemlock but they also cut larch. Now the lumber from both of these trees is great for outdoor applications like barns and play sets which is what this lumber was meant for. Now the operation here is pretty simple. They have a place to remove the bark and then bring the logs over to the saw. I think that the saw from what I can tell and what I've seen is operated pneumatically. I was hoping that they would let me actually film the saw in operation, but they specifically asked that they were not in any of the pictures that I took, um, which is not uncommon for Amish people. They prefer not to have pictures taken of them. Now, for any of you who are not familiar with the Amish, they're a tight-knit uh, religious group here in the United States. They're Anabaptists who came from Europe, mostly Switzerland, and around the 18th, or starting in the 18th century and uh, settled mostly in Pennsylvania at first and then kind of spread out to other places like Ohio and Indiana. Uh, I forget the exact number, but there's something like 25 or 30 states that have Amish populations in the United States. But most Amish people actually live um, in Indiana, Ohio, or Pennsylvania. And for me, living in Western Pennsylvania, you actually see Amish people all the time. Sometimes in the grocery store, sometimes uh, at a gas station. Now, while Amish people have their own culture and their own language, and they generally keep to themselves, they're not hard to spot, because mainly because of how they dress. The men wear suspenders, they don't wear belts. Uh, the men also grow beards, but not mustaches. Uh, the women wear bonnets. Uh, they usually wear muted colors. And so they're very easy to pick out in a crowd. I've had the opportunity to meet a few Amish people, and I, I must say that they're very kind, hardworking, and trustworthy. And the guys that I met at this lumber mill are no exception. Another thing that's very distinctive about Amish people is the way that they shun most technology. Now, each community will decide for themselves what rules they're gonna follow. And so you will have old order Amish people who have very little to no technology whatsoever, but then you'll have some other Amish communities where they may use tractors or trucks or electricity or cell phones. In fact, I noticed that they definitely have electricity and I also saw them operating a tractor to load logs and stack lumber, but I honestly don't know how they would do their work without one. Uh, that said, I didn't see any phones or cars or any other technology other than a gas-powered chainsaw. Now, I have to talk about this saw blade for just a minute. It may look small here, but I think that's just because of the way the picture is. That thing is a beast. I didn't measure it, but it has to be at least five feet in diameter, maybe even bigger. Definitely big enough to handle any of the logs that I saw coming in. One last thing I wanted to mention was this huge pile of shavings and sawdust. This was the second time that I'd come to this mill and the first time the pile was twice as big as it is in this footage. In fact, you can see where a big chunk of it's taken apart. Apparently they use the shavings for yard mulch, which is great, um, but I couldn't help but think how dangerous that huge pile of sawdust would be. Um, luckily for them here in Pennsylvania, things stay pretty soggy, and so there's a little chance of it catching fire. So after picking up my stack of hemlock, I'm ready for my next project, which I will have in a video here sometime soon, as soon as I have a chance to actually edit it. And um, But if you do like this video, if you like my projects, be sure to subscribe because I will show you this amazing playhouse that I built for my kids this past summer. I talk all about it, how I built it. But that's what this lumber is for. Um, I also used some of this lumber the first trip that I made to this Amish uh, sawmill. I used 
used uh, some hemlock for the garden boxes that I built. And those worked out great as well. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like my content, be sure to subscribe. Uh, be sure to check out some of my other videos for other interesting uh, projects or information. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.